Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and in this video, I'm excited to be able to bring you a review of some headphones, and these ones come from Coolstream. So I'd like to thank Exeter Science and Entertainment for sending out the Bluetooth stereo headphones for reviewing purposes. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So like I said, these are Bluetooth and they have no pin code for pairing, so it's really easy to get set up. It's got a built-in mic for phone calls and VoIP calls, as well as comfortable leather ear pads, as well as noise cancellation and echo suppression. On the back of the box, we see some more information about these, stating that it has a rechargeable battery of five hours. You can also control the volume and enjoy the wireless convenience well, without missing a phone call thanks to that Bluetooth functionality. On the back, we also see that it is 70 grams as well as some other information. As we take a quick pan across the box, they have actually stated a quote on here, without music, life would be a mistake. And then we've also got some description of what the headphones are like and stuff like that. I'm not going to read that out. Also included is an instruction manual as well as our USB cable for charging these up. It's USB to mini USB. Like I said, these are five hour battery life on here. So these also come in a white version, but I was sent the black model for review purposes. So taking a look, you guys can see we've got that multifunction all purpose type button there. That's like your pairing button as well as receiving calls and stuff like that. We've also got our on and off toggle switch. As you can see when it is green, it is on, red is off, and you can see that blue LED that surrounds that button. We also have a volume rocker switch for up and down control of your media playback on the side. And while we're on the side there, you guys can also see that leather sort of style with the ear pad. We also have the USB port on the side there for hooking up the cable for charging. And you can also see the adjustability that these headphones provide. You can really make it a few different sizes depending on the shape and size of your head. We see we have a Coolstream logo there on the side. Now pairing this up with your device is quite simple. I've got my 5S here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn Bluetooth on. Then you're going to want to navigate over to settings, head over to Bluetooth obviously, and then you're going to want to select the BTH301. That are That's these headphones. And then you're going to want to turn those headphones on. And once both of the devices are in pairing mode, you should be able to get connected quite simply. And it's really, really easy once you're there. At the top, Beside the battery percent, you guys can also see that there is a battery indicator saying how much battery is left on the headphones themselves. Now something important that I need to touch on is noise leakage and I want you guys to have a listen to the following clips and leave your comment down below about what you think about this. So as you guys could probably hear, there was some noise leakage going on with these headphones, so I'm not sure if I'd want to be in a public area like a library or something like that, because it could disrupt other people. Even normal average listening did have some leakage, and when I turned up my volume really loud, you could really hear it, and that was just with my microphone. One of the things that I really don't like about these headphones is the gap in the style of the earpiece to the frame. That's just something that bothers me and I didn't think that it exactly looked that great on my head. All saying that aside though, the quality of the sound was actually pretty good and you'll have a pretty enjoyable listening experience with these headphones on. I found that the comfort was also at a pretty high level actually. The only thing I didn't like were those little separation between the actual earpiece and the frame of the headphones and I didn't find that they were the most stylish looking things on my head as compared to higher end headphones like Sennheiser or Dre, Dr. Dre Beats, you know what I mean. Anyways, these are retailing for $49.99 on coolstream.co. I'd like to thank them so much for sending these out for reviewing purposes though. It really helps me out and I appreciate all the support. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave your comment as well down below of what you think about these headphones. And I'll be sure to catch you all in my next video. Until then, peace.